Welcome to the Arabic Threads YouTube channel to build the learning how to make this Canadian smoking. There are other different types as you can see, but we'll be concentrating on that. So this is it on a peplum top. It can be used on any design. You can see it also on the G cut sleeve as shown. Okay, so this is it as a half length. So you can use it for okay, this is another sleeve design. It can be used on anything. So let's just get right into it. Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be learning how to make a pattern of the Canadian smoking. There are several designs. So I'm just going to be taking one of them. And to do this quickly, I'm going to be doing this on a paper so that it can be brighter for us to see. Then I'll later transfer it to my fabric. So vertically and horizontally, we're going to take one one inch as shown one inch 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 like that so i'm just going to replicate it here so that it will be easy for me to draw a straight line so i made this into a straight line horizontally also vertically i'm going to do the same by taking one inch each so one inch one inch one inch one inch vertically like that okay so i also made that into a straight line meaning that we have a box of one one inch each like that so the next thing depends on the design we want to do for this particular design we're going to take we're going to make diagonal lines like this leave a space in between then make another diagonal line Leave a space in between, then make another one, slanting it like this. So the last one for the first row, then for the second row, we we'll leave this space that will put it here and move it like this. And then this line this time is going to be slanted this way, not this way. So we we'll leave a space also, then we'll make another diagonal line like this. Leave a space. Make another diagonal line like this. Leave a space. Make another diagonal line. So continue like that till we fill up the whole box. So that's basically what we are going to be doing. So I'm going to bring in my fabric now to show us how I did this on my fabric. It's very simple. Okay. So we're going to continue like that. So I've done that on my fabric. And this is my fabric right here. The fabric you are going to use depending on what you want to use the uh, smoking to do. How wide you want your smoking to be. So in this case, this fabric is okay for me. You can see my diagonal lines. So now to sew it. So you go to the first line, the first arrow line like this. Remember, it is like this. So you are starting from this first arrow here. So you pick it up like this. Put your needle in first edge of the arrow. And then go straight to the next edge. So you are targeting this and this. This and this, the two edges of the arrow is what you are trying to bring together like this. So I put it in the first one. Then you pass it to the next edge of the arrow like this. Then you drag it for it to come together. Once it's together, you find a way to tie it. Just put a knot there so that it can hold it together for you. Okay, so we are through with the first one. So we'll go over to the next arrow. This is the first one. This is the second arrow. Just the same way, you place your needle on the first edge like this so you take note of this remember there is nothing in this box so you don't drag it like this for it not to close up this box we are only working on the boxes with our pattern we are not doing anything with the ones in between that doesn't have anything so we are going to leave the thread straight like this on this one 
and then we go over to the edge of the second arrow like this pick it and bring together only the one not this without pattern only the one with pattern you have to be very careful with this okay you can see that i'm not touching this i'm not dragging this this is the thread still there i'm not dragging the one without pattern i'm only dragging the one with pattern then you hold it and tie a knot right there also to hold it together for you okay so i'm going to tie my knot like this sorry i'm going to tie it like this and then i'll go over to the next one remember there is nothing in this box so i'll skip it and move to the one with my next arrow take it like this do not drag the next arrow put it on the other edge and then you bring it together like this so you continue doing it like that till you finish the first line okay make sure you try to control your arrow so that it doesn't tangle okay so we we'll continue like that you can see i've done most of it i'm almost reaching the end that's why i decided to show you again so we just have two boxes to go in the first row so you just continue picking it like that pick it don't drag this drag the one with the arrow and then tie a knot right there so you continue like that okay and this is the last box in this row you pick it like this pick it bring this together and then tie your knot okay so we are through with the first row now the first row is done so now i'm moving over to the second row so just the way we did for the first one i'm going to pick from the first side of the arrow like this sorry I'm going to pick from the first edge of the arrow and then pick the second edge of the arrow and then I'm going to bring it together uh, I've been sure with the salvage okay so when you bring it together you tie it tie together okay and then on the same on the same row you skip the second the the one without pattern then you move over to the next one like this make sure you don't drag it then take it to the other side of the arrow okay then you then you drag it like this and then tie a knot so you need a very long group for this if you know you cannot control a very long thread it's okay to use short ones so you just need to keep joining along the way and remember since we are tying it we are securing each knot so you can join at any point in time so you continue like that till you fill up the whole space like that then you pick it also like this Bring it together and then tie. So I remember I said we have various designs of Canadian smoking. It's not just this is like the simplest. So if you like to see more designs, let me know down below in the comment section so that we can look into several other designs of Canadian smoking. So I'll just take this half camera and continue filling it up. And I'm going to bring it back to show you when I'm through. Okay, so you keep, you can see I've done a lot. So you keep picking it like that. And making sure that you don't drag the one that doesn't have any pattern. Make sure you don't drag anyone without pattern. If you are finding that difficult, maybe when you are dragging, you feel that you are dragging that with it. It will not form the pattern you want it to form so you can easily cut off after each knot you don't need to but it's faster this way but if you feel that you are dragging this side that doesn't have pattern with it you can just simply connect like this and once you are done tacking you just cut it off after each knot like this so 
this is what I've done so far. So when you turn it to the other side like this, you can see how beautiful this looks. So this actually works well for sleeves, half length, especially children's wear. You can use it for throw pillows and many other things. It's really beautiful. So just try yours and let's see what you come up with. Kindly subscribe to our channel to see the notification anytime we have a new video. Thanks so much for your support. We really appreciate it. God bless you. See you in another see you in our next video. Bye.